All right, let's start this episode off with a public safety announcement. If you have a transponder and you plan on going in PvP space, turn it off. <laughs> so you see how I can see uh, Clem's ship there and Mayhem's ship uh, and anybody else who has their ship broadcasting uh, within 100 meters of me, I can see where you are. Oh, there's somebody else's ship down there. So how do you turn that off? Well, if you have a transponder, there's probably a button that says transponder. Click it, and if it's not glowing, it's off. Hello fellow Endos, my name is Rob and welcome to another episode in our tutorial series. Today we're talking about some more tips and tricks that you can use in this game that I've discovered since playing uh, when this game launched publicly. So let's talk about the most requested question that I see over and over again and that is how doth I repair my shippeth? Or how do I see if I have a durability error? So we've already talked about the universal tool. You hit U to bring it up, right? If we go to Blueprint, uh, and I've noticed this is bugged. If you've got two people on your ship, only one person can actually look at the Blueprint at a time, um, and the other person gets locked out. But if we click on this middle button right here that says Body Durability, the whole ship will turn green. Now, if I go ahead and I take out my trusty uh, nail gun here, and we're going to go ahead and let's take off this panel. Um, you can see it is now gray, so it's not affecting my durability. But if I put one nail in it, it's now red. And you see down on the left there in my chat, this ship has a durability error. So if you see something that's red, put more bolts in it. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, we're good to go. Alternatively, if I take this off, whoop. Now, let me take out my repair tool. And I'm going to turn off the durability view. So, you see this blue area right here? That is now telling me that something is missing there. And uh, if I get my repair tool out, I can actually use it to repair. Now, the part I took off is still there but it remembered that there was supposed to be a part there and uh, it let me repair it. So I just created a new one um, out of the material. Now it will tell you what material you need to fix things under material. So right here it says I need 43 uh, and I have 16,000. So as long as you have the material, you can repair stuff. And I'm within station range, so I'm using my station inventory. Now a note Repairing stuff does not auto bolt it down. So if I start flying around, this thing's going to fly off. So I want to go ahead and rebolt it down. So hopefully that helps. If you get some durability errors, now you hopefully know what to do when that happens. Now let's talk about another thing that I have seen, and that is key bindings. So my ship is working fine now, but earlier when I was pressing the A key, because um, I rebound A and D to be uh, yaw left, yaw right. When I was pressing the A key, it was also strafing. Uh, or not strafing, it was also trying to roll. So if you go in here, you might see that you have your, uh, your key binds right there, right? And this is just hitting V, as it tells you in the tutorial. If you see these key binds in the gray, um, that is your active key binds. However, there is another section down here in the black that can also have crap going on. And I just went ahead and deleted all of those key binds and I don't know why it does that, um, but they should match. But if I, go, if I go in here and I put roll as A and D, and up here it also says that yaw is D and A, right? Now if I try to turn, it's also rolling. Um, because it's using both of those key binds. And I don't know if that's for like advanced maneuvers or something, but I just went in here and clicked it and it says hold escape to clear. And uh, it was cleared. 
And there we go. Now everything moves in the right thing. I can yaw, turn, roll, and uh, we're good. Um, also, anything you put in your flight computer has a uh, entry in this keybinds. So if we had a mining laser, um, you can see it remembers that I had a mining laser on here. Um, it's I key bound it to button four. Same thing. You can bind your ore collector. You can bind your radiator. You can bind your sensors. Uh, you can bind these buttons. So if we find the cruise button, um, wherever the entry is on here, well, you get the idea. Uh, if you can find it in there, you can bind it in there. So there's a bunch of things um, that we can use. Oh, it's right there. So if we bound this to the mouse four button, now when I hit mouse four, oh, that's my, never mind. <laughs> This is my uh, my panel, and I just deleted that entry, so whatever. Uh, I want to find the button, not the panel. I think it's this one. Yep, so now I'm using my mouse button to uh, turn cruise off and on. So you just got to play with it, but you can pretty much bind anything in the flight controller. And if there's a button on the HUD, it's in the flight controller. All right. Our next tip is that you can bolt anything to your ship. So as we're here on the Marmot, you might notice that it has three uh, of these fuel cells, but we don't have any storage for fuel cells. Well, if you want to be janky, uh, we can go ahead and drop one of these fuel cells in space. I can grab this and uh, hit C to get it into snap mode. And we can just stick that there, right? And uh, I can take my bolt gun and I can bloop, bloop, bloop. And now it is stuck to my ship. Um, <laughs> it looks funny, but that is stuck to my ship and I could line up more of these and uh, have a full supply. Oh, my ship despawned. All right, so we went ahead and respawned the ship, and you can see that the uh, fuel cell is still there. And uh, I'm not going to leave that there. Um, and you really only want to do this in PvE. If you go into PvP space with one of these strapped to your hull, if somebody shoots it, it's going to explode and take out half your ship. So don't do that. Uh, but in PvE space, you can strap whatever you want to your hull with no uh, bad things right and we can do the same thing with ore so let's say you're mining you run out of room for ore but there's still a little bit of something left in there just some agitite you want to get another thing if you drop this into space it'll show up as a cube you can put it down and you can see that it actually has nail points on it so if we go ahead and we just hold the mouse button we'll point it at it it is now uh, attached to your hull um the ship did not like that for a minute. It says, oh, you have a durability error. Um, but it is now strapped to the hull, so that is something you can do. Let's take that back off. And as you see, you can just hold the left mouse button or the right mouse button to uh, nail something to your ship. It'll do the auto nail thing. Now, I might miss a couple nails here and there, but otherwise it's good. And let's drop that back into my station storage. Okay. I dropped this in there, too. So, you can bolt anything to your ship. Um, let's talk about another thing that you can do that is not necessarily a necessity of anybody's life. But if we go into third person mode by holding alt and then scrolling the mouse wheel, um, you can see that uh, we can actually do emotes in third person and see what they look like. So if I'm looking in first person and I say like slash clap, you can hear that I'm clapping, but there's no animation for it, right? Um, so if you want to see what these look like, you need to scroll out into third person. Now, if we do it again, that's what everybody else sees. So you can see that it's working now. We can uh, slash push-ups, slash push-up. Yeah. And uh, you'll see all of the animations correctly. So if you've been using some emotes and you're like, it's not doing anything, uh, yeah, go into third-person mode and you can take a look. 
So another little quick helpful thing is if you hit the comma key next to your period key, it will bring up your auction house. You do not need to go to the auction house uh, to do anything. You can do it all right here. Uh, and it looks like some of my stuff is not selling, so I'll have to adjust some prices on those. But that's how that works, right? So you do not need to go to the actual auction house to open that. As I have said um, previously, I showed where the auction house was, but I didn't talk about the comma key in our first tips video. So that's how that goes. And our last thing that we're going to talk about is the ore towers. So all over here, you see these uh, towers that say credits on them and are flashing little pictures of asteroids. Credits, asteroids for credits, asteroids for credits. They're all over the station. Now, what are these for? Well, let's say that you want to sell off some ore, right? You're coming back from a mining trip. I'm going to uh, let me connect to my resource bridge here. Ah, ah, get out of the seat. Boop. There we go. Um, let's say you're coming back from a mining trip. You got some ore in your uh, inventory here. Uh, let's throw some of this in here. Yeah. And uh, you don't want to to deposit it you want to sell it but you don't want to run all the way to the store so what you can do is you can come over to these towers and we're going to connect our resource bridge so let me hop out of the seat here and i'm already connected there so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to boop, connect here and uh, now on this screen here if we click ship you can see that those ores are now sellable wow they dropped the price on this stuff a lot um interesting so that is how you can quick sell your ore out of your ship uh, without having to go to the store. You can also sell from your storage on these things too, um, which isn't bad, right? Uh, so if you don't want to do your resource bridge, you just want to kind of sell your ore, uh, you can come to these towers and you don't have to go all the way to the store. So that is it for today oh i did have one more thing i wanted to talk about and we will fast forward because this might help some people out that are building ships so bear with me just a moment oh yeah i don't have to fly there um so just demonstrating for someone who said you lose things in your inventory if you use the quick travel i'm gonna put i'm gonna put uh one of these in my inventory i'm gonna put this uh, multi-tool body in my inventory. I'm going to put a button in my inventory here, right? I'm going to use, I'm going to despawn my ship and then I'm going to use insurance transfer to go to the ship design workshop. Boop. All that stuff's still in my inventory. So you do not drop inventory items when you use the insurance transfer. Use it at your will um, to people who said that it drops your items if you do that. So you don't actually have to go to these boards. You could just use insurance transfer to boop around the station. Okay, my actual, actual, actual my, <laughs> my actual last tip of the uh, day here of the episode is the copy function, um, the auto copy, auto paste, auto creation. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Uh, the quick copy. I'm going to call it. So, sorry, I'm a little scatterbrained here. I do have things written down that I wanted to talk about, but let's go ahead and select this beam. Whoop, not the fuel tank. Let's go ahead and select this beam right here, right? So one way I could copy this is just control C, control V, and then line it up and paste it, right? The quick way to do this that I have found is open your move tool, hold shift, and then drag it. And you actually create a second copy and you can go ahead and do that repeatedly so we could make a ton of these beams right and we don't ever have to control c and control v and line it up again and you can do that with anything you can do that with engines you can do it with uh with thrusters like oop, i make a copy make a copy make a copy so yeah hold shift and drag it and you can make a copy of anything um and that helps for putting down multiple items. Like if I wanted to put down another generator here, shift, drag. And uh, I mean, there's no room there to put one, but you get the idea. So that is it for the video today. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. It really does help small content creators with the uh, YouTube algorithm and everything else. If you, uh, 
you'd like to subscribe, I hope you will consider it and uh, click that subscription button. We're almost to a thousand, which would be a huge milestone. And if you want to be notified every time I drop a new video, go ahead and click that notification button and uh, YouTube will tell you. And if it doesn't, uh, YouTube, what the hell? So if you have any uh, suggestions on things that I should talk about, go ahead and drop it in the comment section. I've been getting a lot of great tips from everybody in the community, which is great because I learn new things, you learn new things, and I can put it in a video and share it with everybody. So until next time, I will see you out here in space. Stay safe, my friends.